would be about us giving you all that's inside of our hearts. That there would be no walls, there would be no separation. But as we come before you, Lord, that we would know that we're fully known, we're fully searched. And it's a pleasure and delight, Lord God, for us to come before you with worship and praise on our lips. We thank you, Lord. Now for the next 10 minutes, we'll go into a time of meditating on scripture. So I'll be reading from Isaiah 49.8. And as I read from this verse, I encourage you to not pray aloud or even read from your Bible, but actually just to listen and receive. Let the word speak to you and wash over you. So I encourage you to simply close your eyes and get into a posture of receiving and allow the word to wash over you. Isaiah 49, 8. Thus says the Lord, in a time of favor, I have answered you. In a day of salvation, I have helped you. I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people to establish the land, to apportion the desolate heritages. In a time of favor, I have answered you. says the Lord in a time of favor I have answered you in a time of favor I have answered you says the Lord in a time of favor I have answered you in a day of salvation I have helped you says the Lord, in a time of favor, I have answered you. In a day of salvation, I have helped you. I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people.
as a covenant to the people. says the Lord. In a time of favor, I, I have answered you. In a day of salvation, I have helped you. I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people. Thank you. 
transition into a time of singing through the word. So if you have your Bibles, I encourage you at this time to take your Bibles out and open up to that same passage to Isaiah 49. Isaiah 49. Once again, the passage is from Isaiah 49. We'll be singing through verses 8 through 12. Isaiah 49, verse 8. Thus says the Lord, in a time of favor, I have answered you. In a day of salvation, I have helped you. Lord, when we look back on the times where we've experienced favor, every moment we've experienced your saving grace, we know that you were there. Your fingerprints have marked every instance of favor and every day of salvation. You go out of your way to make your presence known when you answer and you help us. We trust and worship a God who is not silent, a God who moves on behalf of those who call upon his name, 
a God who is mighty to save. We thank you that we aren't left to our own devices, but we can place our trust in you. With you, God, we always walk in a time of favor, and every day is a day of salvation.
establish the land, to apportion the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, come out, to those who are in darkness, appear. Lord, your word says that you bless us and keep us, not only because you love us, but also because you want to see us stepping out into our calling. You call us to be salt and light in the world and bring people who are in prison and in darkness into freedom and into light. You make us a prophetic sign unto the world that there is freedom and light in you. We pray that as you continue to establish us in who you are, we would see with greater clarity the mission you've called us to accomplish. Help us to walk out this great mission with great joy and great purpose.
they shall feed along the ways, and all bare heights shall be their pasture. They shall not hunger or thirst, neither scorching wind nor sun shall strike them. For he who has pity on them will lead them, and by springs of water will guide them. Lord, you are the one to lead us and guide us by springs of water and pastures. And as we walk with you and abide in you, we know that there is no hunger nor thirst. There is no scorching wind nor scorching sun, for you are the good shepherd. Even when we are on the way to our prayer answer, on the way to our breakthrough, we know that we are well taken care of. We are secure. We are provided for because our sustenance, our portion, and our daily food and daily drink are in you, God.
Thank you. 
up highways where there were none. You're the God who makes a path, even the most impossible of situations. We praise you and exalt you, for there's nothing that's impossible for you. You delight to display your sovereign power over every circumstance that dares to come against your power. You will make all your mountains a road and your highways 
shall be raised up.
verse 12. Behold, these shall come from afar, and behold, these from the north and from the west, and these from the land of Syed. Jesus, you are king over all, and we will see people coming from the east, from the west, from the north and the south, as people who have been saved and redeemed by your grace. Your saving hand knows no boundaries. You cross through distances far and wide to reach your sons and daughters, to draw them to yourself. We will see prisoners that have been set free coming from afar. We will see people who were once in darkness and now have become salt and light in the world coming from afar. We praise you, God, for you call your sons and daughters forth.
and we hear the voice of the king calling forth his sons and daughters out of shame, out of fear, out of darkness, into your marvelous light. We thank you, God, for your doing this work tonight. You're doing this work tonight. You're a good father, and you're a good savior. We thank you, Jesus. Um, right now, we'll transition into a time of intercession. Um, tonight, we will be praying for Brazil. And as you know, Brazil is currently hosting uh, the FIFA World Cup, which is taking place from June 12th until July 13th. And all 64 games by the 32 different qualifying nations are taking place in 12 different cities all across Brazil. And they're drawing floods of hundreds of thousands of soccer fans from all over the world. And in the midst of all this excitement, uh, the untold story is of sex trafficking and one of the same magnitude. Uh, the combination between widespread poverty, drug abuse among young children, and violent gangs that operate unhindered by the police um, has cooked up the perfect storm for sex trafficking problems, where girls have been reported missing months before the World Cup, uh, as gangs and pimps, they prepared for World Cup fans to come months in advance. Uh, there was many cases of kidnappings of young girls to ensure sufficient supply for the floods of soccer fans coming in. So one of our mission statements here at K1 is interceding against um, interceding on behalf of the oppressed. And so tonight we'll be interceding against sex trafficking in Brazil. I will lead us through the prayer topics on the screen and after I'm done praying into them, I, I encourage and I invite you to remain engaged and pray for the topics as well. Lord, we lift up women and children that have been trafficked in Brazil. We stand in the gap and cry out on their behalf tonight. We ask for your protection and justice over them. We declare that it is not your purpose for them, but you are God who stands for the defenseless. You fight on behalf of the oppressed. We lift up the girls who have been kidnapped in the last few months, but you would be their shield and you would be their fortress. We bind the work of the enemy that comes to steal, kill, and destroy and release fresh hope and faith for rescue and for restoration. We break off any hopelessness. We break off any shame and any fear that binds them mentally and physically to their oppressors. And we release healing tonight from wounds and from trauma. Lord, you are their healer and their defender. Let's pray.
endorsing and perpetuating this vicious cycle of sex trafficking through their consumption. We pray that you would not let them just stay in a place of sin and apathy, but that in your mercy, you would open their spiritual eyes tonight, that they would be able to see the extent of their iniquity. Lord, without your Holy Spirit, we are unable to see our need for you. So we ask that you would awaken and stir their hearts to conviction that would lead them to repentance, that they would walk in freedom. Surround them, Lord, with people that would want to see them free of this bondage, that would walk out this process of accountability with them and love and concern. We thank you, God, that your spirit is moving among your people tonight. Let's pray.
lives, you delight to take the worst of sinners and turn them into testimonies of your saving grace. There's no person that is too far in their sin to be reached by you. There's no darkness that can overcome the light that you bring into our lives. So we lift up the traffickers and pimps on the streets of Brazil tonight, people who make a living from intimidation, oppression, and abuse. Lord, we ask tonight that you would do what only you can do. Reach them in their lostness. Save them in their sin. Turn their hearts of stone into hearts of compassion. We have heard of stories where the torturers, where the slave traders, where the persecutors of their faith, they have been the ones to be radically transformed for the glory of your name. Show your might and your glory. Show the extent of your grace that is able to reach even the worst of us, that we would hear once again of stories like those of Saul being encountered on the road to Damascus and forever changed. Let's pray. restoration and revival in Brazil. Your kingdom is like yeast, only a little bit, and it makes its way through the entire batch of dough. We know that it is no coincidence that so many people in this nation are experiencing revival fire like never before. And now that the eyes and attention of the entire world are on Brazil for the World Cup, use this as an opportunity to display your glory. Let your fire begin to spread all across this nation that is thirsty and in need of you. Lord, accomplish your work in this nation at this hour, that Brazil would remember this time. They would remember this World Cup. They would look back on this hour as an hour of change, of divine intervention, of seeing the finger of God moving on their nation. Let's pray. Thank you. 
know, God, that you are the only hope, Lord God, for women and children that have been trafficked. You are the only hope for those, Lord God, who are caught in sex addiction. You are the only hope, Lord God, for those who are in trafficking and who are pimps. We know, God, that you are the only hope. We thank you, God, that you are God who's on the move. You're God who hears our cries and moves on behalf of those who call upon your name. We thank you, God, that you are moving in the nation of Brazil. You're setting it apart, Lord God, for your kingdom and for your glory. May we hear of testimonies, Lord God, rising up from tonight, of people that encountered you where they least expected it. People, Lord God, that were not looking for you. People, Lord God, that were lost. People who are in darkness and hopelessness, meeting you, Lord God, encountering you and being changed forever. We thank you, Jesus, that you are God who's transforming lives and writing testimonies tonight.
you guys have heard that there's a lot that's happening right now in Brazil, um, and uh, I'm sure if you're if if you've been on Facebook, there's a lot of articles that are popping up. So continue to pray and uh, intercede for Brazil and for all those that are um, in sex. Uh, industry right now and there are all teenagers actually I think we can all pray really into the youth of Brazil as well so I want to encourage you to continue to pray and thank you for coming out tonight uh, we have another uh, prayer watch tomorrow morning so if you're free come out and um, have a wonderful time in God's presence so yeah bless you thank you for joining us again good night <laughs>